Hello again, Steve with Knee Family Lights. In today's video, I want to show you how far can data be sent from one pixel to the next. Um, today's video is going to focus on the quality of the signal, uh, not necessarily the power. And so I've devised a little experiment here where I'm going to drive um, pixels uh, with and without a uh, F-amp to see how far it can go and with how many pixels on various brightness levels. So let's dive in and show you the setup. Okay, let's take a look at the setup here for this experiment. I have a standard 12 volt power supply going to a pixel tester. Connected right off of it is a single 12 volt regulated pixel. This will simulate the worst case scenario, pushing data from a pixel versus a controller if you have outputs coming from a Falcon or a Culp or some other board, you're likely going to have better uh, signal um, data coming out from those outputs than coming from a single pixel. But this will show kind of a worst case scenario. Going to the end of a pigtail here. This little tester has uh, seven steps. So it's simulating um, anywhere between uh, 0 and 100%. Uh, those steps are 14, 28, 43% I'm rounding. 57, 71, 85, and 100%. I'll show a table here in a few minutes um, as we uh, take a look at how many pixels we can safely attach to the end of each of these at different brightness levels so we don't blow a 5 amp fuse. I do have a fuse in line here. It's at 5 amps. Uh, for this test, uh, I personally recommend running 12 volt pixels at uh, 11.2 or somewhere in that range, uh, but just for baseline test purposes, I have this set exactly at 12, just a slight bit above, but basically 12 volts on the dot. Okay, so I have bundles of 50 pixels. This is 50, 100, 200, 300, 350 pixels that we'll use for all the testing here. In addition, I have 25 bundles of 10 foot extension cables, which makes a total of 250 feet. It's not likely you'll be driving a pixel uh, prop more than 250 feet from any controller or chained off from another prop. So this kind of represents a pretty significant length. All these wires are supposedly 18 gauge wires. Uh, they're a little thinner than true 18 gauge, but advertised as 18 gauge. So this is typical of uh, industry um, materials. Also what I have here is a F-amp from pixelcontroller.com and I soldered on the pigtails that work with these lights. This is uh, version 1.01. .01. So going a little deeper on the theoretical math behind these pixels and how far we can push um, and how many pixels we can put on a output, these pixels are 12 volts. Uh, power consumption max is 0.55 watts per pixel, that's on all white. And the tester has seven steps, so it's 14.3% for each step. So in this table, what you see is the seven steps laid out uh, horizontally in the percentages. So those percentages would represent as close as possible rounding um, to your controller outputs. I run my shows at 30%, so it's like step two. So you can see how many pixels you can drive off of um, one output at 30%. Some people run theirs at 40, 60, 80, 100, um, or even down to 10. So you can kind of see from this table um, what is safe to draw. So for this experiment, um, I am going to stay within the 5 amp limit. And so everything in red isn't being tested. I'll show the results of running through each step at each bundle set uh, with and without an F amp. So that way you can see the final results. I won't go through and show them all, but I will demonstrate what it looks like when you're having some pixel data integrity issues. So if you have these things in your show, you have some idea of what to look for. I'll be showing you four different setups. Here's the first one. It's a very common setup. So we have our, our first pixel to show our worst case scenario. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40 foot extension going into 150 pixels. This is at uh, step two for this little tester. So it's 28% or about 30%. 
And in this case, uh, everything is good. That's all white. I'll change the colors back to all white and we have no flickering. So let me add 10 more feet. Okay, so we're adding 10 more feet. So that 40 feet is now going to be 50 feet of extension. This is with just the standard 12 volt pixel and no F amp. So now that we've added that fifth, the 50 foot extension, we have actually no data whatsoever, making it to the 150 pixels. So let's put the F amp in and see how far we can go. Okay. Now we have the F amp in line right after this first pixel and we are driving out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210 feet going to the exact same 150 pixels and we have no flickering. So we went from 40 feet to 210 feet just by adding the F amp. And let me show you what it looks like once we add 10 more feet to get to 220. Okay, so I've added one more 10 foot extension. So now we're at 220 feet. And looking at those pixels, there is flickering for sure happening in all three bundles. So you can see what it looks like. The second experiment I want to show you from what I've done is uh, kind of the extreme opposite of the previous one. That was 150 pixels. Um, in this case, what I am showing is 350 pixels at the same uh, step, which is 28% or about 30% output brightness. So same brightness, um, instead of 150, we're now driving 350 pixels. Now the color at the end of this set is a little bit off, uh, not a lot, but it's not bad. And we are showing here coming off the pixel, 10, 20, 30 feet, going to the 350 pixels, and there is no flickering whatsoever. So let me add a fourth one in and you'll see what it looks like. Adding the fourth extension, now we're at 40 feet, coming off of just a standard pixel, and you're not getting any data. Very occasionally you'll see one of these pixels light up, as some amount of data can get through, but it's really inconsistently, really consistently bad. All right, there are the same 350 pixels, now going through 80 feet of extension cable. Let's go ahead and put our F amp here in line right after the pixel, going through 80 feet, and we actually have good signal quality. Again, there's a little color variation towards the end, not much, but a little bit there. But the data is good and there's no flickering. If we add one more to get to 90 after the F amp, Now one conclusion to draw here is the F-amp can push data significantly farther than without an F-amp. Another conclusion is when you're driving this many pixels, the amount of power being used increases significantly and the distance that you can go without having the ground be uh, causing noise is significantly shorter. So we went from 210 feet stable with 150 pixels we can only really push out 80 feet when we're driving 350 pixels. Granted, it is tough to see, but there is slight flickering on some of those pixels. Okay, let's take a look at uh, experiment number three. In this third experiment, I wanna show you what also the common thing that I've heard. Uh, this is running the pixels at, let me go to the lowest here because people say drive it down as low as possible. So I've got a pixel, 30 feet extension, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 300 pixels, and everything is good here. 
A 30 feet is, is decent, but it's not the best. Um, and if you add a fourth extension, so we get to 40 feet, we will see what it looks like. And there you have it. It's kind of random and they're just kind of stuck with whatever they get. Let me unplug it, plug it back in again. And here is another uh, symptom of what it looks like. It's very light. So the brightness is correct, but um, they're all just flashing because the, there's so much power being drawn and the ground is, is no good and it's going too far. So it's just a lot of noise on the line. This is without the F-amp. Go one more time. All right, so it's doing the um, all different colors. On this in the table, if you take a look, uh, adding the F-amp, you can send data at this step, 14%, uh, 300 pixels. I was able to go successfully 130 feet uh, with the F-amp. I won't show that, but you can look at the results in the table. The fourth and last experiment I want to show is uh, with this controller set at 57% which is equivalent to about 60% on most controllers. We are back to 150 pixels, which is also a pretty common prop setup. So um, at 60% coming off the pixel, going through 30 feet to 150 pixels, uh, it should look just fine. And this is what we see. Now, once we add the 40 feet, one more extension on here, See what that looks like. And so you see some significant yellowing here. The data is actually okay. Uh, when I initially tested it, there was some flickering, but you can see there's significant color change. It is actually flickering a little bit. I can see it. You may not see it on the camera, um, but you can see that this is a pretty common uh, problem is you're driving the pixels at too high of, a, of, a, of an output. I'm going to bring down the brightness, which basically means the voltage is dropping here. But again, I'm mostly looking for in these experiments, data integrity, not necessarily color. Uh, I'll drop it down so you can see. Actually, I am dropping it down and it's not receiving the signal. So that's definitely a symptom of poor data. It got, kind of got frozen there. So lowest, step of one, step of two. It flickered a little bit on the data. Step up three, and step up four, and now the data is frozen. So there you have it. Those are the four experiments. Um, I will link uh, the document to the Excel spreadsheet with all of the results so you can take a look at yourself. So in summary, what have we learned today? Uh, data could be sent from a single pixel anywhere from 30 to 40 feet, uh, regardless of brightness and or number of pixels. Adding an F-amp does significantly increase how far that signal could be sent, um, ranging anywhere from 100 to 250 feet plus, depending on the number of pixels and the brightness level. The second conclusion is even with an F-amp, that range of 100 to 250 feet is very dependent upon how many pixels are being driven. Uh, the power being drawn off these pixels, if you drive a lot of, a lot of them, it will draw a lot of power, which is using the same shared ground line as the data, and that power causes noise. So even with a F-amp, that 250 can drop all the way down to 100 just by powering more pixels, even at lower uh, power output brightnesses. So I hope this helps. Enjoy.